Hello, you're listening to The Matt Show, episode 9, with me, Matt Waller, and my homie, Matt Charlton. Guten Tag. Who's German. <laughs> German motherfucker. Not, not, not your, you're not a motherfucker because you're German. Um, episode 9. <laughs> Can you believe we're on episode 9 already? Yeah. Yeah, I know. And we've got an apology to make, haven't we? Yes. So... We we forgot to make last week's episode. We didn't actually forget. We just had a lot on, didn't we? Yeah, we're busy bees. Uh, went out for some work events. Yep. One of us went to New York. <laughs> Matt Charlton went to New York. You've been to New York recently, Matt Waller. We both, yeah, no, it's pretty key, yeah. What did you think of New York? It's, uh, it's big. I didn't like it. <gasps> Matt! I prefer why? Toronto. Ah, it, New York is pretty massive and it's very overwhelming, isn't it? It just seems like it hasn't got a personality. Like, it's just... The, its personality is to be a tourist attraction. Yeah, it's pretty weird. It must be weird, like, being born and raised in New York. New York! New York! Um, so, going back to episode eight, we had a couple of challenges for each other, didn't we? Yes, I will go... Oh, shit. I'll go get <laughs> Carry on. Um, so... Matt challenged me to write a rap about something and then you or he have to guess what it is. What are you doing over there? Nothing. I'm just getting your book for you. Thanks. Um, we're actually recording in a new location this week as well. We're in, a, we're in the living room. Uh, okay, I've just seen what you've written. So, all right, let's kick, the, let's kick this off. Let's, do, let's get this over and done with. I'm going to rap... About something. Give some context about what... Because about, it's been two weeks since they... Last no, I've, I, said, I said that when you were over there. Oh, sorry, my bad. All right. Um, for fuck's sake, I don't, know what, I don't know what I've said and what I haven't anymore. So, in the last episode, I challenged Matt to make a rap about an object or a person or a thing. And henceforth will be his rap. And you've got to guess what it is. With a silent C. And they've got to guess what it is, the listener. Did you hear my bad joke? The silent sea. Rap with the silent sea. No, I don't get it. Crap, but the sea's silent. Oh, that's, that, <laughs> that's out of order. <laughs> I thought you were talking about like a silence sea. Like 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 a silent I oh, know that is the joke. Alright. Looking <laughs> for t- <laughs> Ready? Yep. Yo, 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 yo. Looking for deliciousness. I'm made from maliciousness. Blood is spilled when I get killed, so enjoy your Christmasness. And I don't want to boast, but I taste real nice, especially with a roast or Uncle Ben's rice. I'm from one thing, but I'm actually two. Eat me up, Scotty, then convert me to poo. Out of your rectum. Both ends of the spectrum. Uh, yeah. What am I called? Don't be fooled. My name sounds quite snuggly. China, Chinese people don't consume me, but I'm sure they would assume me to be quite rubbery. So, yum yum, put me in your tum tum. I can't out your bum bum. I'm probably made by your mum mum. I am a rap, and this rap is crap. What am I? And then Matt Charlton wrote at the bottom, Matt Waller is gay, and I'm not going to read that because that would be really silly of me. You just read it. <laughs> yeah, yeah but it would be silly of me to like rap, like to think I, do it, do I it. wrote it. So it must be in my rap. Do it as if you I am a rap and this rap is crap. Matt Waller is gay. <laughs> which is really Admittance. Offensive. Sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Waller. So do you know what I am? So Chinese people don't eat you. Sometimes they do. But I'm not I'm not a Chinese food. And you have classic. You have it with a roast. And yeah. you might have it with Uncle Ben's rice. Mm, you can have it with Uncle Ben's rice. Have you ever had it with Uncle Ben's rice? No, never. I don't think anyone has. But you can if you wanted to. Is it turkey? Oh, you said... Did you you give any hints of what the meat was? To have it with your roast? How do you even know it was meat? Because things are killed. Oh, yeah. Yes. No, Um, it's not turkey. Shall I do it? Shall I do the wrap again? No. Christmas. Let me do the wrap again. Let me do a section of the wrap again, which I think you might get. Okay. I'm from one thing, but I'm actually two. Oh, uh, what are they called? Pigs in blankets. How the fuck did you get that? Because it's two bits of pork separated. From, oh, you jammy prick. Jammy dodger. If you got that, so it's, well done. Wait, 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 it's been five minutes and you've already sworn. <laughs> what did I say? Prick. Oh, that's not a swear word. Speaking of pricks, 
Matt Wallace sat next to me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of pricks, I got some jabs last week in my arm. Did they hurt? No. And do you know what? When I went in there, the woman had a needle and she put the needle in my arm. As you do when you get some jabs. Yeah. That's a general act and of getting a... Sorry. I was like, oh no, this it's going to really hurt. And she put it towards my arm and I felt like a tiny little scrape. And then she moved away and I was like, oh no, she's not done it. And she goes, right, that's it. And I'm like, what? She sneakily gave you the AIDS. No. No. <laughs> No, it was a tetanus jab. Um, and and basically what I'm trying to say is I'm really brave. <laughs> and <laughs> well I did it, done. And I did it and I didn't even feel any pain. So there you did go. Did it not ache afterwards? Because you had a hep C jab, didn't you? No, hep A in tetanus. So I had a tetanus in my left arm and hep A in my right arm, which stands for hepatitis A. It does. And the tetanus one... Like, neither of them hurt when the prick was going in, but <laughs> my left arm ached afterwards from the tetanus. It ached for, like, three days Yeah, after. when I had my hep B jab, it ached for, like, three days. It felt like I'd been punched. What is hep B? Hep B is from, like, a uh, needle infect. Like, if you get a with the needle, because, you know, you used to do nursing. Yeah. If I ever put my finger in sharp's bin or whatever and got stabbed by the needle, it um, stops you getting the AIDS. Really? Well, not AIDS, but it stops. It stops. You love you love saying AIDS recently. You've mentioned AIDS on a lot of podcasts. <laughs> AIDS from toilet seats. You've mentioned Charlie Sheen before, but we incorrectly labelled him as HIV. No, he no, he is HIV positive. But we said AIDS. But we said he had AIDS. If Sorry, are, Charlie if Sheen. If you are listening, Charlie Sheen, oh, I've got a joke about that. Uh, is it too offensive? No. Is it too soon? No. We're broad friends here. Just me and the mic. Statistically. Two and a half men are HIV positive. No, <laughs> one and a half. One out of two and a half men is HIV. Wait, let me, let me tell you that. But, um, Can we edit this? No. Oh. Uh, statistically, one out of every two and a half men is HIV positive. And that's because he was in two and a half men, right? Yes. Do you get it? Yeah. Okay, good. Do you want to hear a really bad joke? Yeah. Have you got a hole in your shoe, Matt? Yes, because my feet don't. You said this to me the other day. Yeah, well, I want you to pretend like you hadn't heard it before. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, I'm not going to lie, am I? I'm not going to lie for the sake of comedy. Comedy. So, I've got some... Excuse... Sorry for that pause. We just drank some tea. I've got some... We should avoid drinking tea at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's got some facts. Oh, and also, don't forget, two weeks ago in episode eight, we gave you the challenge of... I say we, I did. We gave you the challenge of... Um, coming up with a story have you done that a um, story I've had a few ideas it had to involve a love story in... love romance that same thing revenge action suspense okay should drama we, should we end the show with that it's like an outro how long is it going to last for probably not very long because I haven't thought of it it's going to freestyle it are you yep cool you're listening to the Matt Show Probably on YouTube or iTunes when we get round to putting it on iTunes. <sighs> You're listening to The Matt Show. All right? Yep. So, I thought a good theme for this episode would be accents. Okay. And my first fact is a question. Do cows have regional accents? Yes. Do you know why? Because they're from different regions. Cows have regional accents like humans. Language specialists have suggested... They decided to examine the issue after dairy farmers noticed their cows had slightly different moves, <laughs> depending on which herd they came from. So if the cows were from Liverpool, they'd be like, Moo. 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 Moo, I'm from Liverpool. And if they were from Birmingham, it'd be like, Moo. <laughs> moo. Do my accent in a moo. Moo. I knew, I just remembered something in moo. New York. I meant to take a picture of it. There was a restaurant called oh. Life Restaurant, L-Y-F. Really? Life. Yeah. Hashtag It's called Life, Life Kitchen. All right, I'm going to do a moo in an accent, and you've got to guess where the cow was from. Okay. Moo. Moo. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> All right. Moo. Moo. A cow with Parkinson's? No. 
Um, no, where's it from? Uh, down Mur. south. Mur. No, it's not England. It's not even oh. Great Britain. Mur. Scot- um, Mur. Give me a clue. Holland. Oh, that's not oh, a clue. Is so it? similar. <laughs> God. Wait. Hello, I'm from Holland. Mur. Yeah, that is, that is good. That's not the Holland accent. Okay. <laughs> Hello, I'm from Holland. I'm from the Holland. That's, that's um, <laughs> Jar Jar Binks' accent from Star Wars. And he, where was he from? Uh, some underwater city that I don't remember the name of. Amsterdam. Oh, God, yeah. I kept it so stupid. <laughs> I'm from Holland. Moo. Okay, give me another one. <laughs> Moo. Oh, um, Australian. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, Moo! That was German. Really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sound like you're having a shit there, mate. You do one. Um, uh, um, oh, um. Oh, I can't think. I can't think how to do one in a moo. Oh, uh, well, you're listening. Moo! What? Moo! Do it again. Moo! <laughs> is it from England? Mm-hmm. Well, like UK. New cat, new asshole. Yeah, moo. Yeah, that's good. That's a good one. Moo late, moo. Why I moo? <laughs> I didn't think doing impressions of cows would be so much fun. Oh, we should do a farmyard special. Farmyard special. <laughs> E-I-E-I-O. You've got to guess the animal. Do a Yorkshire moo. Wait, what do, I don't even know what Yorkshire people sound like. Like the accent you always do with me that isn't my real accent. Was that Yorkshire? Yeah. Yorkshire. Hello, I'm from Yorkshire. Like that, is that Yorkshire? That's kind of Liverpool. Hello. Oh, hello, oh, oh, oh. I'm from Yorkshire. Yeah, that's it. But no. Not, do it without the no. Australian accent. Australian accent? Straining. Oh, straining accent. Moo. I don't I can't do it. Hello, 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 I'm from Yorkshire. Yeah, that's kind of it. I'm from Yorkshire. No, that's Somerset. I'm from Somerset. Moo. From my cider, my trotter. I'm from... I can't do Yorkshire impressions. It's the best accent in the world. Fucking York, love the Yorkshire York, accent. Tut Yorkshire. Tut York. Tut window, tut wall. Tut window, tut wall. That Yorkshire. I uh, so, just want to say thanks to... Leroy Fowler for doing a special announcement last Oh yeah, week. I was very jealous that I didn't get to do that announcement. No, you did. You I, were there, remember? I challenged myself through you. <laughs> I Matt, possessed Matt. Matt was in New York, so that was Friday you were in New York. So I did, did that. Did we get any emails this week? Uh, no. <laughs> no, we didn't. Do you, want, do you want another accent fact? Oh yeah, we're still doing facts, aren't we? Education. This is what this show is all about. Education. In the 17th century, Brits and Americans sounded the same. Just that the Britain's accent progressed and the Americans didn't. Because we're the best. No. It's true. Don't the Americans' accent progress? No, ours did. Bollocks. No way did we sound American. Yeah. No way. Because it says here, the British Library Shakespeare's original pronunciation CD features speeches and scenes that claim to be performed as Shakespeare would have heard them and reveals several instances of wordplay that would only make sense when said loud in the accent of America. No way! I don't. I don't like that fact. I refuse to believe that's a fact. Why? Because it annoys me. What it also reveals. Ye oldie English. What is ye oldie English? What it also reveals. Piccadilly Circus. Piccadilly. Let's go to Leicestershire Square. Or as my, I've got a Canadian friend who lives in Canada. Obviously, I knew her before I came here, and she came to Leicestershire once. We went to the space centre, and she saw the sign and went. Where's Leicester? Leicestershire. Like oh my god, England is so pretty. It's got so many cool things. What it also reveals is how close 16th century accents sounded to modern American ones. When the first settlers came from came to America from Britain, their accents were the same as those from their original home. But over the century, ways to speak on both sides of the pond evolved in different ways. And my favourite fact, because it's so fucking dumb, because everyone knows it, too. Fall is a British way of saying autumn. That's a good fact. Did you know? Did you know? Did I know what? Well, I'll tell you. If you say certain words, they sound like you're saying another word in a different accent. For example, 
Are you going to steal my accent, uh, my example? Oh, for fuck, go on then, you tell it. No, you do it. You do accents better than me. But it's uh, TM, Matt, Charlton. Well, no, because I heard this before I even knew you. Yeah, but I brought it up today. But we... <sighs> Is that why you brought it up? Because you, you knew you were going to do accents? No, we were talking about something and I said beer can. Oh, you, yeah. Do you do it? Beer can. When you say beer can... Do it in the accent. Don't pretend sand all no. sad. I feel guilty now. No, beer can is something you drink beer out of. But when you say beer can, it sounds like a Jamaican person saying bacon. But do the actual accent. Beer can. Yeah, there we go. Beer can. <laughs> Would you like some beer can? You can't have bacon because you're vegetarian. Well, you can't have any because it gives you the shits. It does actually. Does it? <laughs> really? <laughs> Matt just nodded. <laughs> now he's drinking some tea. I taught Matt Waller a, f- um, a saying that me and my friends have back home about, you know, the night after you go for a night out and drink loads of beer. Oh, yeah. And then you wake up and you have a beer eared. Oh, that's disgusting. What are you doing? I'm trying to find more of those things where you say words and it sounds like you're saying different words in someone else's accent. Do you want to know what the most common English accent is? Southern. Apparently it's international English. Good. Because there's more people outside of England that speak English. Oh, than there are in England. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. It's the same with, um, there's more people, there's more Irish people outside of Ireland. That's a fact than there are inside of Ireland. That's my impression of Ireland, by the way. It sounds more Northern Ireland. Um, Matt, can you do any fun accents? No. Nope. Moving on, you're listening to The Matt Show. Uh, We're sitting in my living room, we've got The Simpsons on mute, which is good, and we're researching as we're going along. We should have researched beforehand, we say this every time. Should we do some shout-outs? Go for it. Shout-out to Laura Scott. Hi, Laura. Hi, Laura. Shout-out to Matt Kurt. No need to into the mic, he doesn't like that, does he? No, let's not do that. He didn't like that last time. So? He didn't come on our, on our special. Yeah, I know. Do he, it. He damn, damn right refused to... Okay, fine. <laughs> 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 there you go, Matt. I found... Yeah, if you don't come on our special, we're going to do this every time, <laughs> just for you. I found a list of ten things you should never say to a British person. Shall I go through them and see if they annoy you? All right. Is this in a BuzzFeed shit? No, it's called literallydarling.com. When did society... Sorry, literary... Literallydarling.com. Literally darling. When did BuzzFeed become, like, so fucking popular? No Since idea. Since when was it cool to start an article with nine things that you must do today? Nine things you've been doing wrong. Eighteen things you need to do before you die. Seventeen of the best Ryan Gosling photos next to pigeons. <laughs> Is that a real one? No, I'm making it. <laughs> you know, they're all like that. And like... And then, oh my God, number 18 is so you. And then they share it on Facebook. It's, it's, I think it's designed to but even, like, apply even, to a wide audience and people share it and it gets more... It's like clickbait, isn't it? Yeah. Four things you've been doing wrong your whole life while shitting. <laughs> what? I've been shitting wrong? Uh, yeah, which you told me the other day. I, Matt told me I've been shitting wrong. <laughs> Not because I'm watching or anything. <laughs> he goes, how do you shit, by the way? Do you sit down when you poo? Well, yeah, no, of course I do. Well, Or at your desk. And he, then he goes, no, that was a joke. And then he goes, you meant to squat. Like Research says that when you squat, it comes out easier. You meant to rock and squat. Yeah, but I've tried... I tried that after you told me, but... At work. The toilet... No, yeah, at work. But the toilet seat is too high. So I, I need, like, a like a brick to stand on and squat. What if you sit on it and just rock? And you need to squat as well to, like, really, like... But technically you are squatting when you sat on the toilet because you're in a yeah, natural position. Yeah, I know, but position. it's not, like... It's not pulling the anus open as much as it possibly can. What the, what, what that, are we talking that about? That you in other ways, Matt. <laughs> so hang on, what are we talking about? Oh yeah, you're about to read from literus. What was Liter- that? Literally darling. Literally darling. I want money for that. Uh, shout out, by the way. Literally darling. Com. Ten things that um, British people hate. I love British accents. Yeah. Which one says that to you? Does that annoy you? Definitely not. Okay. I can do the best British accent. Never heard that in my life. I have, but it doesn't annoy me. Oh, you're from London. This one annoys me. 
Yeah. In New York, everyone I, goes, where are you from? And I was like, oh, um, England. And they go, oh, I've been to Buckinghamshire Palace and <laughs> Trafalgar Square. And I'm like... Trafalgar Horror Square. And then places I've never heard of because I don't live in London. And I'm like, oh, I'm not from London. They go, oh, she's not from England. I'm like, this other... <laughs> places yeah. in England other than London you're from Englandshire right that's in London Englandshire <laughs> is is Tottenham in Londonshire Tottenham Tottingham, Tottingham Palace <laughs> Aston Villa United okay is that in one. England oh you're from Europe yeah that's true though I used to get in da- I used to work in a tea shop and they used to say where in South Africa are you from mm. and where in Australia are you from not like are you from? Like, where are you from? Because they're that sure that I'm Australian or from South Africa. Yeah. We we have this on a daily basis because we're currently living in North America. But from for America. people... America. For people listening at home in England, we don't have this at all. No, but then think of when a Canadian comes over or American. I'm sure that we would do it to other people. When my Canadian yeah. friend first came to England, they used to say, say barble, say bottle. Cause we, bottle. Bubble. Bubble. And they say bottle and bobble. Bobble. Bubble. Bubble. Bubble, 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 bubble. <laughs> That's a weird word, isn't it? Bubble. Okay, six. Oh, no, five is cheers, mate. What's wrong with that? Who says that? Canadians say it to us to take the piss or like, cheers, mate. <laughs> Matt, you're hanging out with the wrong people. You're getting bullied by Canadians. I haven't been bullied yet. Six. My great-grandmother was British. I get it all the time. Yes. All the Everyone's fucking time. Everyone's fucking great-grandmother is British. Jesus. Get your own identity. <laughs> Se- joking. Seven. Oh my God, I could listen to you talk all day. I get that quite a lot. Really? Yeah. I haven't heard that. And I'm like, way. my accent sucks. Don't make me speak. You've got a lovely accent. It's, I hate my accent. It's common. Imagine listening to this all day. You're listening to the match show. My, f- my match friend- show. Match show. Match show. Match show. Match show. Match show. Match show. Coming up next. Coming up next. My coming friend next. said that you've it's got annoying. a voice like, like singer to sleep. Who? Me. Yeah, your voice. Who's what? That's not very nice. No, singing you to sleep like it's soothing. Oh, I thought she meant it's like boring. No, soothing like you read a book and it puts sleep. Who's who said that? I'm not going to name the person live on it if they don't want to be named. Maybe we can send it to sleep now, Liz. You just said it out loud. Thumbs up. Oh, she she's heard it before this podcast. The first one, yeah. Liz, if you're if you are listening, rock my baby on a treat <laughs> up when the wind blows, the cradle will rock. Now, now she's asleep. Right? I'm just going to. Now we can carry on. Contact the sex offenders register. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> <laughs> now we can carry on with the rest of the podcast, knowing full well that Liz is asleep. Wake up! Wake up! Eight. Okay. Do you live in a castle? I've never ha- heard that. No, me neither. Whoever wrote this is lying. Nine. You drink in Britain, but you do it in a classy way, right? No, I've never heard that before. And do we fuck do it in a classy way? Do we fuck do it in a classy way? Butler's me. Th- I'm from North. Butler Strongbow on the park bench. I fucking drink bleach. Ad oh, and- I've seen it all now. And now I know who this cat Amy, fashion and beauty editor at literallydarling.com. She's the one who wrote the article. Do you know her? No, but like fashion beauty editor. Right. What does that mean? Never mind. Uh, ten, I don't get it. Ten, what is a crumpet? Because they call them English muffins here. Yeah. What is a crumpet? That's not an English muffin. An English muffin is different. That's what they call it here. Do they even have that? I don't think they have crumpets here. No, they don't. Do you want to know a, a fact that I learned my English degree when I did English language? Nope. Okay. <laughs> no, go on. That after the age of fourteen, it's very hard for your accent to change dramatically. Like if we said in Canada for ten years, our accent would largely stay the same. You just you'd just, just, your dialect would change, but your accent wouldn't. No, no. True that. True that, motherfucker. What words have you picked up that are Canadian? Um, what words have I picked up? I don't think I have. Sidewalk. I say sidewalk now. I say that as well. Uh, apart from that, nothing really. I say chips instead of crisps and it destroys my soul every time I say oh, yeah. it. Yeah. For sure. Right. Yeah. Right. And I, I, we I, better I, to enunciate at the end of sentences like uh, Canadians do. That's annoying. 
No, it's, it's not annoying, but Canadians aren't annoying, but doing that... At the end really of annoying. every word. So I went out the other night, and there were, like, some gays there, and they had penises, and their penises were out, and they were dancing on the dance floor. Do you think and then, you have a Cockney accent? No. Because I've just seen, what is a Cockney accent? And it is an accent or dialect of English traditionally spoken by working class Londoners. Ah. No, I don't think I've got a Cockney accent. I think you've got a Cockney accent. Uh, definitely not, because I'm not from the East End of London. No, but you've got like a, you've got more of a Cockney accent than... I think I've got more of a Southern, Southern London accent. Sometimes I, it depends, my accent changes. Say South depend- London. South London. Now, how you would normally say it? South London. Yeah, South London. South London. Yeah. South London. My friend Hilary. Hello. Hello, hello, hi. She's uh, more Essexy, but she's like East End. And you're what, South? Yeah. Um, who else? Uh, hello, Hilary and Marlon, if you're listening. Matt just clicked his jaw. So I'll see if it'll pick up on the... <laughs> Don't it just does. start clicking stuff. Don't experiment whilst we're making the fucking podcast. Let me see if it... Episode d- 9. That's disgusting. It does, look. I know, I can see it. <laughs> if you heard that click... It's a disability, man. Let me do my fingers. Oh, that's gross. Do you want to know fact about what, <laughs> what, what are we doing? Is? Do you know what, the, what it actually is when you click your fingers? No, what is it? The air... In your joints. Oh, is it the air that's escaping? It is indeed. Jesus. Must, that's weird. See, I don't mind doing it myself, but when other people do it, it's annoying. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> um, What's your favourite accent? Good question. Good question. It depends. Oh, it's obviously mine, right? Yeah, Matt, you have... You have you, yeah. I don't know what else to Oh, wow. No. Wow. <laughs> no. I like... It depends. On a girl... I like um, I like the the sweet Irish accent. How are you, my darling? How are you? It's very airy. Whereas on a bloke, um, South African. I think that's a good accent to have. Hello, I am from South Africa. Is that does that sound right? Yeah, it's got quite a good accent. Um, what's your favourite accent um, on a girl? On a girl. Uh. I don't like. I don't know. I quite like the southern accent, like London accent. Yeah, yeah, but not like on a, on a girl. Not like the stereotypical one like you see Adele. on TV shows. Like, oh, I'm from like, I can't even do it. But you know the stereotypical TV show London accent where everyone's really posh and no one ever sounds like that. What on a female? Yeah, like, like I don't like that accent, but I like like, um, southern like London accent. Or, yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. No, no. So like. Hello, I'm from London. Yeah, kind of. I'm from London. Like um, Hermione from Harry Potter. Yeah. If you can hear a buzzing sound currently, don't be alarmed. It's just my fucking fridge. It just started buzzing for no reason, so apologies if you can pick that up. It should stop in a minute or two. Let's see if it picks it up. Well, well, it does, because that's uh, very small. That's annoying. So sorry about that. It should stop in a second. Um... What's your favourite male accent, Matthew? Um, I think the South African accent, probably, like you said. I really like the South African accent. Can you do an impression of the South no African way. accent? Try. I literally can't. Try. South? No, I can't. I'm from South Africa. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> what's your favourite accent? Email in at Matt C and Matt W at gmail.com. How do they say water where you're from? How do they say? So it depends. That we've got uh, loads of different people. So some okay, people say Sutton. water, 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 water. One of those. <laughs> My, they say where I'm from. Water. Give me a cup of water. Water. I, I'm posh from where I'm from. Tells you all you need to know. Because you've got right. the scummiest. Dirtiest if, accent if I've it, ever heard in my life. My accent's going dirty. Where would you hear from where I'm, I'm from? I'm joking, I'm joking. You've got an, You've very clear and well spoken. Uh, email in. And if you email in before next Tuesday, then we will read out your email. And we also need to send Rosie's naked picture of you off, don't we, still? Yep. 
And I keep fucking forgetting. Do it now, live on air. <laughs> no, no, really uninteresting. Um, did you hear about Donald Trump this week? Which? Which, what he said now. Yeah, which one are you referring to? The one about to? yesterday. Uh, what he basically said, um, he doesn't want any Muslims to enter America. And then you showed me that video of um, someone on BBC News talking to that guy, and he was like, well, does it say on their passports? Yeah, some bloke was like, some American, like, I think he sounded quite Southern, like, I am from Southern America, saying, um, like, some bloke said, how, how do you know if they're Muslim when they come into the country? He goes, well, it say on their passports. <laughs> it doesn't say your religion on your passport. It's really scary that Donald Trump could be president. Like, genuinely yeah. terrifies me a little bit. What's, what what else has he said? He he said he wants to build a wall between America and Canada, uh, Mex- Mexico, and not, the Mexicans have to pay for it. And Mexico have to pay for it. He wants to send all the Mexicans back that are here illegally, even though if, if and legally, here. really, yeah, legal ones as well. He doesn't want to allow any Muslim people into the country. That's fucking... Oh, he's such a... T- oh. I'm not going to mention this too much, but he also said, you know, the French massacre of the week, he said if they'd had guns, they could have defended themselves. And, that's just, and this yeah. is why we need guns, apparently. Yeah. yeah. G- gross human being. <sighs> Do you like the uh, picture I sent you earlier of Donald Trump's hair running away from home? Yeah. Matt sent me a picture of a hamster running away. With a little stick and red bag on its shoulder. Yeah, like, it, you, like the cliché... Running away. What was the of. caption? Donald Trump's hairpiece has finally had enough or something. Grown legs and f- uh, run away. <laughs> yeah. It I, was hilarious. It was if you're not. on the internet, go look at it. So Maybe I, we could put it as our thumbnail. But then Donald Trump thing. might get us done for slander. I mean, he could say all oh, Muslims. <laughs> yeah. All right. if, if he's got freedom of speech, then so do we. <laughs> we can say what we want if he can say what he wants. Talking of um, shit... Pieces of shit, Donald Trump. Um, I got shot on yesterday by a bird. <laughs> I was sitting in New York on a bench eating a gyros. Is that what they're called? I don't know what a gyros is. G Y R O S. They're like oh chicken. Gy- gyro. No, they're not. They're not called gyros. Gyros. I thought they were called gyros, but they're called like gyros. gyros or something. Gyros. Oh, is it like a Greek? Yeah. Rap type. I was thing. sitting there eating my my gyros, whatever G Y R O S, and uh, his plop. <laughs> on my head and I thought oh great the, like I bit, haven't heard the word plop in so long a bit of rain's fallen on my head fall, fallen on my head and then look then both me and my friend look at each other then look up and see this bird's arse on the tree above us staring at like staring at us and it went drop on my head drop oh. on my gyros and then <laughs> drop on my coat did you still eat the gyros did, did I fuck gyros. I threw it in the bin gyros you didn't eat it. No. So, it, fuck all sh- pigeons. Maybe it wasn't even shit. Maybe it was just like the, the mayonnaise sauce. No, because it went on my head. I didn't do this with, with my... I, I put my hand on my head. I didn't put my hand <laughs> on my head and pour the gyros on my head, Matt. Gyros. Gyros. If you know how it's pronounced, let us know. Email in with the... Is it phonetic? Phonetically, yeah. Phonetically. Google will tell us. No, let someone, we, need, we need a reason for someone to email in. No one's going to email in. We're Please. old news. What? Old news. That's heartbreaking. I did a rap. I know. It's really well done. Say so you took like five minutes on it. No, I spent five years on it. Um, Matt, we have done 34 minutes of a 45-minute podcast. Are you going to start your story soon? I can start it soon, but it probably lasts about 25 seconds. All right. Uh, just want to do it anyway. Okay. So can I write down what it's got to include? So you've not actually come up with any ideas? No, I have, but I just want to make sure that I include things in it. All right, so it's got to include romance. I should have written this beforehand. <laughs> this is the worst podcast. Um, romance, revenge, and drama slash action. Drama kind of comes with the romance and revenge, so that's kind of like... Anything else? Um, don't know. No, that'll do. Uh, some comedy maybe like a joke uh, like a something witty okay. wit put some wit in there oh and um, a subplot I want a subplot <laughs> no I'm joking oh my god <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so there's two bin bags. <coughs> they both live in the same... Excuse me. Choke quietly, Matt. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. There's, there's two bin bags. One's in the bin. One's outside the bin. They're both best buddies, these bin bags. And then one day, the first bin bag that's no longer in the bin that's completely full and tied gets sent out the house and into the big bin, big black bin. And the, uh, the bin bag that's already in the bin really misses its old buddy. Think he fancies her a little bit. So each day gets longer and longer and he just misses her so much and someone walks past the bin and the bin falls over and the bin bag falls out and there's a big gust of wind and it rolls to the door but the door's not open. How's it going to get out to its, new, its one true love that's out in the bin? What? <laughs> I don't know. And then someone, someone comes out the bedroom. What? The girl. Yeah. And opens the door and thinks, what, what the fuck's this bin bag doing here? So chucks it outside. He, he gets all the way outside. Can't wait to see his one true love. And the big bin's been emptied. Oh, his right. one true love's gone. And he sees her in the, in the garbage truck, slowly driving away with all of the bin bag friends. Oh no. Yeah. That's it. Oh, that's, oh yeah, that's good. Where's the revenge? Um, so he cuts himself the bin bag open and spills all his rubbish to get revenge on the people for not taking him out with the other bin bag. Ah. Oh, that's really good. You should be really proud. I can, I can almost taste the sarcasm. <laughs> no, it's good. Wait, so there's two bin bags. One, One of them got taken out. Mm-hmm. And then it wanted to see its one to love again, so and someone knocks it, knocks the bin op- over. Yeah, the bin bag rolls out to the door, and then the door's like closed, so it can't get out. And then someone's like, "Why the fuck's the bin bag at the door?" Yeah. So he takes the girl takes the bin bag out, and unfortunately the bin's been emptied. Yeah. Five minutes previously, and then the bin bag, the wind blows it, and it sees its little bin bag with lots of the bin bag friends. Yeah, <laughs> I've never heard the word bin bag being said so many in the, times in, in the truck. And then, in anger, he splits himself open to die for his one true love. And, gets, and, and all gets, over the lawn. And gets revenge on the people who took took the bin bag out. Yep. And it's a really windy day, so all his guts get flown all over the city. Oh. You should turn it into like a... It sounds like it'll be a good Pixar animation. Yeah. Like You should do it. It'll just be called Bin Bag. <laughs> It'll be a trash bag here. Trash. Pixar. Pixar is trash. <laughs> How was my story, Matt? Rate out of ten. Um, I'd go for for your imagination coming up with the idea of two bin bags yeah. as your main protagonists. I'd go with a ten out of ten for length and f- probably four, four or five. I think I it helped been... you with the length of your poem. Thank you. You didn't help me with the length of my story. Because I, th- I thought you'd written it already. You're usually really prepared. I didn't have time no, to be really prepared good. today. No, it was really good. That was really good. Um, and for satisfaction... Zero. I, yeah, it's a bit like Romeo and Juliet in a way. So actually... It's oh yeah, he good. kills himself. Yeah. But then, and, and the other one takes gets... To, I wonder what would happen when the female bin bag gets to the dump. Like, would she have okay, a new so... life? Or would she... See, that to, that to me could be the start of the show. So, a uh, film. So she gets there and she makes loads of new friends and everyone's like, yeah, welcome to the dump. You can love you here. I assume they have accents. It's Disney's Pixar. And then um, she's like, I, I need to get home to, to find my bin bag. He, we, the audience, know that the bin bag is dead. She, uh, she's like, oh no, I need to get home. So they all help her, gets home, finds him. Surprises the audience. He's actually alive. He's been sewed up. He's, he, someone sewed him up. Why would anyone sew up a bin bag? <laughs> Have you ever seen The Brave it's Little a Toaster? Joke. No. It's one of my favourite films. It's about um, a load of old electronics that get sent to the dump. And the toaster doesn't understand why he's been chucked out. So he gets sent to the dump and he tries to find his way back home. I didn't, I didn't ah. actually copy it from that, but he just reminded me. Hmm. He used to scare me as a kid. You know the, the Brave end of, Little Toaster. You know well, the end of Toy Story? Three, when they're going down the the chute into the lava. Yeah. That's directly copied from Brave Little Toaster. Is it? Because the end of Brave Little Toaster is getting sent into the um, trash with the metallic thing. Yeah. Thing that puts it on top of cars and stuff and crushes it. 
Yeah. And he gets saved by his friends, which is exactly what happens in Toy Story 3. So Toy Story 3 stole a plot device from Brave Little Toaster. Yeah. Who made Brave Little Toaster? Was it Disney? No, I'll, I'm going to Google it because I think it's important. I'll be very quick. We have five minutes left of episode nine. And then, after episode nine, we've got episode <gasps> ten. It only got 30% on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm, I'm sad. It's like one of my favourite films. Yeah, but Rotten Tomatoes is run by internet people. Uh, after episode nine, we've got episode ten. Then we've got episode eleven. Then we've got episode twelve. I do vaguely remember saying last or two weeks ago that we have three episodes left. We've actually got four, including this one. Three after this one. That was a mouthful. So we're going to... Our penultimate episode, episode 11, will be on Tuesday. I think that'll be the 23rd or 24th. And hang on. Or Wednesday. It'll be like uh, Christmas Eve when it goes out. Yeah. And then our last episode... It'll be... No. Will it be Chris... Will it be before January... So twenty. If you do it on the twenty third, then yeah, because the last one will be New Year's Eve. So our last episode will be New Year's Eve. So, yeah, yeah, you're right. So nine, seven, or around that. So yeah, um, we're gonna finish our podcasts in two thousand fifteen, and then we're not sure what we're gonna do in two thousand sixteen. I think we should still do it. I really like this podcast. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I think we should call it something else, maybe, or at least call it a new season. Season know, just two to, of the match show. Yeah, just to break up. New year, new season. God. Hashtag and white girl quote. White girl quotes. But then when we have a block of 12, we should... I'm discussing the politics of the podcast on the podcast. So, so the Brave Little Toaster is by three companies. Hyperion Animation Company, The Cushion A Lot Company, and Wang Film Productions. Wang Film Productions. It came out when you were very young. 1932. <laughs> no, 1987. Less than the year after you were born. Ah, and you were just a twinkle in your dad's eyes. I wasn't even. Ass. A twinkle in your dad's ass. Uh, should we? So this episode has been about accents. Can we say that? Yeah. I think accents. Is, we've we've done a rap. Um, we've done a story. We've presented you with facts about accents. Um, Matt got shot on by a pigeon. Not during the podcast. <laughs> oh. Um, what should we do next? Next week, if you've got any ideas that you like a topic for the show, like for example, this one we had accents last time, we had the records, didn't we? Email in as soon as you hear this and give us a topic. And if I think you should choose topics, you've not chosen one yet. Didn't I choose record breakers? No, I chose record breakers. I chose record breakers. No, because I wanted to do about Adele, and then we, I said, oh, we should, we should record breakers because she broke loads of records. You can't. You wanted to do a whole episode about Adele. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, she's pretty cool. I do like her. Hello from the other side. Why did, why did Adele cross the hospital? Uh, cross the hospital. Why did Adele cross the road? I don't know. To say hello from the other side. Oh, that's good. I've got a joke about Adele. What's Adele's favourite computer? I don't know. Adele. <laughs> <laughs> I just made that up. To get it. Yeah, but okay. it's pretty... Yeah, ah, Adele. A, a Adele. Um... What did Adele say when she saw someone? Hello. Yes. <laughs> why? Why did Adele? I've got a joke. Go on then. Knock knock. Who's there? Broken pencil. Broken pencil. Who? Never mind. It'd be pointless. Oh, that's good. Um, knock knock. Who's there? I'm a smelly. I'm not doing this. Why? Because I know the answer. What is the answer then? I'm a smelly per Ah, uh, you did it. Okay, I've, uh, you I've got a joke you. for it, but you have to read it out loud. Oh, God. Right, we've, we're, on, we're over 44 minutes. It doesn't matter if we go over. You're listening to The Matt Show. Thanks for listening. I'm about to read out a joke that Can't. Matt's writing out. God, this is dull. But thanks for making it this far. Um, seriously... Please email us in, because if you don't, then it's just Read it fast. I'm a penis. I'm a penis. I'm a... I'm a penis. No, read it properly. You know exactly what it's meant to say. Cause I'm... It's... All right, it says, I map enus. Read it fast. I'm a penis. 
IMAP Ennis. IMAP Ennis. Uh, you're trying to get me to say I'm a penis. <laughs> no, but you're trying to get me to say I'm a penis. Yeah. But it says I'm map Ennis. I think it changed it on autocorrect. I'm a penis. I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a penis. <laughs> wow. We've we've gone over 45 minutes. Shall we call it quits? Or do you want to, ca- do you want to carry on? Are we on 45? We're, no, we're over 45. We'll you done? You happy with the story? You don't want to redo it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy with my bin bag story. <laughs> it was really good. Again, give us some suggestions. Thank you so much for listening. I've been Matt Waller. And I've been Matt Charlton. And I've been Matt Waller. And I've been the better Matt. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Bye. I wish you'd do an Adele song that is like, bye. Bye-bye from the other side. <laughs> uh, bye. 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 Bye.